Today is my COVID vaccination round two. Um, feeling a bit un bit nervous about it really. Um, obviously the first one went fine, didn't have any side effects and I was really confident about it but I was 18 weeks and I didn't have kind of any scares. But since um, then obviously I discovered my short cervix, the chances of me losing her increased and then the failed operation and then three weeks of just feeling like if she comes she's she's not gonna survive to viability and now two weeks past there i'm still a bit traumatized if i'm honest and i'm still not comfortable obviously with her coming at the moment because the chances are, are very much less for her obviously what i do is well what i need to do is i need to get this second vaccine but it's really difficult when you feel like you're hanging on by a thread as it is but then I've had to think of it the other way around and think, right, well, if I got COVID now, it wouldn't be ideal um, because if I was ill with COVID and they had to deliver early anyway, then I'm going to be in the same situation as what I'm kind of doing. Um, there's been a lot of women that I've been in a group with that have unfortunately had losses, friends that have passed away during pregnancy because they've not had the jab. And I just feel like people at George's school are getting it. Classes aren't getting sent home anymore, are they? So it's a case of like kids are getting it, probably mixing for a few days with other kids and then going off with COVID. So my chances of George bringing it home at this point are going to be quite high. It's particularly dangerous in the second and third trimester. And I feel like I want to carry this baby for a lot longer. So I've had to weigh it up in my mind. Do I go for the second one? Do I not? Um, but I just think I don't want anything to bring her even earlier into this world than what she might already come. And I really don't want to have to go into hospital um, with COVID. I know it's not the case for everyone and some people are okay, which is great. But until you get it, you don't know which, which one you're going to be. So I think I'm going to get it today. I'm due to get it today. So Danny has gone to the place that does it to ask if I can go and have it today. Really nervous, feel guilty because she's kicking away. Um, but I'm gonna have to make that decision just to get it. Not easy. So I've decided not to punish myself any further and start to order a few little baby clothes. I'm not gonna order a lot, but I'm quite wary that my list is just not getting ticked off. And if she could come at any time, I'm gonna be in hospital with her for a while if she comes soon. So, I need to start ordering. Hello, so I am 26 weeks pregnant today and I'm really, really, um, happy to be in this situation because a few weeks ago, don't know if you've, you're you new to my channel or new to this video, but a few weeks ago, um, I was, this is my rainbow pregnancy basically, um, and everything was going so smoothly that I couldn't be kind of, I was getting a bit more confident each week, even though it's a rainbow pregnancy, and I know they can be quite nerve wracking. I was getting more and more confident. And then at my 20 week scan, which was actually nearer 21 weeks, they found that I had a short cervix. So they tried to do an operation um, with the circlage, like a stitch, um, but I didn't have enough cervix left for them to stitch it. So I just got told to kind of go home take progesterone and hope for the best. So now to be at 26 weeks is just amazing. So you can see behind me, this is gonna be the nursery. Normally with George, my um, five-year-old, when we were expecting him, because we were due to get married as well at the same time, we just kind of did the nursery. I mean, I must've been about 20, 22 weeks and the nursery was done and it finished. Whereas this time around, obviously because I found out about the short cervix, I've been too nervous to open this door really. Um, I did, um, I've showed off my clothes in a previous video, um, the shopping haul, um, clothes from a little girl that I bought before the short cervix was diagnosed. Um, but I got this gorgeous cardigan from Morrison's. It's only seven pounds. 
seven pound um but i haven't really done much since so today because i have um a business called my bump to baby which is basically it's um a uk wide parenting platform we support small businesses through our directory so you can find local pregnancy to preschool classes but we also write reviews on the latest products and services so when I got pregnant um I was kindly gifted um a few items that I am personally going to um review which I'm really excited about because it's normally other mums getting to review the products that we've been sent so I'm going to start trying to enjoy this pregnancy as best as I can um by just doing perhaps one little thing a week to excite me on my journey what well, now I'm past by a Ability. I want to really concentrate on enjoying this pregnancy a bit more. So today I want to review with you guys the Tommy Tippy Complete Feeding Set. So this here is the box that the Tommy Tippy Complete Feeding Kit was actually sent in. Okay, so now we've got this. So this is the Closer to Nature complete feeding set everything you need to bottle feed your baby so it includes the advanced electric steriliser bottle and food warmer two insulated bottle bags 150 ml five ounce bottles and then we've got nine ounce bottles a bottle and teat brush milk powder dispensers soother not six months and teat tongs so this is perfect if you are going to be bottle feeding and I am going to be bottle feeding. Uh, last time my son George, he was seven weeks early um, and it's highly likely this little one's going to be early as well which means last time my milk didn't come in. Um, initially when George was first born, obviously he was premature so I did want to try and get as much goodness into him as I possibly could. Um, he needed it but unfortunately my boobs just weren't working and I felt very disheartened, beat myself up a lot and <clears throat> this time I've decided that I want to bottle feed and I just want to know that that's what I'm doing and that way I don't feel any disappointment. So let's have a look inside. So we've got these bottles, this, which is the tea tongs to get the tea out of the bottle. I'll be demoing all this shortly so you'll see. These, we had these last time and they were really, really useful. They keep the milk warm for a while. Um, as you can see, they're insulated. So you can make a bottle before you leave the house. You might be going on a bit of a pram walk and you're worried the baby might cry for a bottle fear not you've got these so you get two of these really useful really useful if you're nipping out to an appointment or something as well and you just always want a bottle on you we've got these formula formula holders so these will hold your milk powder in so if i was nipping out um for a walk or to my mum's for the day i'd fill up a couple of these as as well so that if we needed to we've got emergency milk available so we've got the smaller bottles as well which you'll be using at first so you can see the size difference between them they very quickly come out of these ones and go into these ones but initially she'll be using these ones at first as you can see they've got the numbers up the side to match the tommy tippy perfect prep machine it just means that you'll know where to turn the nozzle but it's got the different numbers up the side. As you can see, one of our area managers has actually done the Tommy Tippy Day and Night Perfect Prep Machine. Um, and that works very similar too. So, more bottles. You can never have enough bottles. This here is the bottle and food warmer. George was really, um, last time he would drink bottles cold or anything it just wasn't bothered but if you have got a bit of a fussier baby and you want to reheat bottles you can put them in there and reheat them just come with a simple plug and it also is a food warmer as well so a lot of parents when they move on to the baby weaning at around six months they'll have a lot of food that they freeze and then feed the babies um, and you can use this to heat the food up if you wanted to so more food hold more milk holders really handy to keep in your changing bag with a bit of milk in 
just in case of any emergencies. Right, so the next part we've got is the steriliser. This is the steriliser bottom. This sits on top. And this is the steriliser as a whole. Tommy Tippy have got different designs of sterilisers. That isn't the one that I used last time, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Also, bottle brush, so that you can get all the little bits out of your bottles, give them a good clean before you put them in the steriliser. Now you've got instructions for everything in here. Um, we've also got a cute little dummy because you can never go wrong with dummies. Um, you can never have enough. I've learned that last time. So a little dummy as well. So four small bottles, four bigger bottles, four milk holders, two insulated bottle holders, the brush to make sure you can wash out baby's bottles before they go in the steriliser, the teat grabber, the food and milk warmer, and the steriliser. Just open up the steriliser for you so you can see. As you can see, it comes in two layers. All of this is, you can move out. And that's basically it there. Now we've got all the instructions inside. So I'm gonna be doing a video on how to use these products. So this here is the bottle. You can pull the lid off. As you can see, first of all, that's the numbers down the side. So it tells you exactly how much your baby is drinking. The Perfect Prep Machine does make life easier with this. Um, I used it and basically the numbers just match up. I'm the worst cook in the world. So when I first saw these bottles, I was like, what the hell? How do you know what your baby's having? But once you get used to them, it does actually work out quite well. These are great. So as you can see, the actual bottle, I don't know if you can see here, but they're really good because they're easy for baby to hold once baby's able to hold these. They're also really hold, easy to hold yourself because of where the indents are. There's a little lip here. So you just push that up and that pops the lid off. The closer to nature bottles um, have a breast like teat. They're very soft. I've got an air hole there so any air can escape to avoid wind and then they can just be twisted open like that then to remove the teat because it's going in the steriliser I won't worry about this too much but basically you just kind of push that bear with me a second it's hard to do with the camera so basically you can twist it and get or pop it out the other side that just fits in and you can give the bottle a good clean sometimes milk can get stuck to the bottom so that gives that a good clean in there so you've got a handle you can just use that like that and it just gives it a good clean before it's going to go in the steriliser i always wash the bottles first okay so the reason for the teat is because we don't want our hands touching this teat here when it's clean so what we do is once um, you've cleaned the teat we would slot the black thing over and then you'd use the teat holder to pull it up so you'd get the teat and you just pull it up so that it just sits in the right place and now that's all nicely in hi guys so i have the tommy tippy advanced steriliser and i'm gonna do a quick demo for you guys so you can see it in action and how easy it is actually to use. These are the parts that we've got here. So we've got the base, the reminder to not descale you. So um, before setting it up, what I always do is I just make a note um, in my calendar to descale on a certain day. And then we have the trays, the two trays. So we've got that one there and this one here. And then we have the bottle, 
that it's going to be. Obviously, you could have more than one bottle, but I'm just using this as an example. And the lid as well. So, we've got the bottle, and I'm going to be doing the example with one bottle at the moment. Um, obviously, normally, you'd put in all of your bottles, all that are dirty anyway. Um, what I always do is I always clean them first with um, washing up liquid and give them a clean, rinse them off and then I put them in the steriliser. Um, these, if you're using Tommy Tippy bottles, that's a massive added bonus um, because this machine, this um, steriliser, basically how it works with the Tommy Tippy bottles, can you see here that there is actually a little line I don't know if you can see it here the dotted line that is a big clue because that you're going to fill that up with water and that amount is going to go in the bottom of the sterilizer so let's get started with that right okay so i've got my bottle i'm going to turn the tap on i'm going to fill it up to the dotted line here we go so that's it full to the dotted line so what we're going to do now is we're going to pour this water into the sterilizer so what we're going to do get the bottle here we go and we're going to pour it into this middle bit here and then what we're going to do is we're going to slot line the first tray up can you see there's a little lip there we're going to slot that in it slots in very easily. It's a really easy steriliser, this, to use. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pop the bottle in there. As long as you've cleaned in between the lips and everything when you've washed it, you can pop the lids in to your steriliser like this. But what I would do is every couple of times I do take them apart, just to make sure they give a good clean. So that's the first bit. So I'm using an example on one bottle at the moment. And then we're going to put the next tray on top. Can you see it just slaps, fits perfectly. And then we're going to put the lid on top. And there we go. Or some people, what they do is just pop that over like that if they're using the full six bottles. Then the lid's going to go on. Okay, that's done. And can you see there's holes in the top to let the steam out? And literally, all you do is you press play, heating up. Okay? So in the meantime, what I will do is I'm going to feed my cat while we wait. I'm supposed to be on bed rest, so I need to be really careful. That's why I have to keep sitting down. Ah, the light has literally just gone off. So, it makes like a clicky noise, so it doesn't beep or anything. It just goes off. Um, and then, what we want to do is wait a little while for it to cool down, and then we're gonna open it up. It's very hot, so just be careful when removing. So you'd lift the lid off, and as you can see, it's still cooling down at the moment. So you don't want to lift that off too early. But that is your bottles done. So you can just leave them in there um, until you need them, if you prefer, or if you want to get them out. And prepare a bottle, they are ready.